kind of embarrassment is this, Rose? <laughs> eh? Papa, please. Please calm down. He's coming. Calm down. He is coming, he is coming. The priest had just left the altar and people are walking home one after the other and you are here telling me to calm down that he's coming. How do you expect me to calm down when he's not here? Papa, please. Please, just a little more patience, okay? I... He'll be here, I promise. He will because I, I know that... Hey, that, that, that's his friend, Papa. That's his friend. Okay. <sighs> Jonathan, what happened? What's going on? And besides, you're supposed to be the best man of this wedding. Why are you still dressed in your t-shirts and, and jeans? Rose, there's a development. I, I need to see you. Young man, whatever you want to say, say it right here. She's my daughter. Papa, uh, whatever I want to say, I want to tell her in confidence. No, Papa, just a guys, minute. Don't, don't worry. Papa, please, let me just see him, okay? Please, follow me. Look, look, my breath is cutting. Where is Joe? Rose, there's something I'm going to tell you. But you have to promise me that you're not going to create a scene here. Please. Jonathan. Start talking. I'm losing it.
Yeah. Um, Comfort Medics and Therapy. Yeah, yeah, it's here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Mrs. Comfort, I was told that our office is around the space. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm actually here to see her too. She's not in the office right now. She went to lunch. Yep. We can both wait together at the waiting area. Yeah, it's noon already, I guess. It's actually past noon. Asking, I'm sitting here indefinitely. <sighs> so, why are you here to see Mrs. Comfort? I'm guessing it's the same reason you're here. I didn't see a ring on your finger. <sighs> None on yours, too. <laughs> you noticed. Maybe because we're wearing the same shoe right now. I can feel your pain. I mean, it cannot hit differently. He left you? Not just left me. He left me on my wedding day. On my special Yes, you are right. We are definitely wearing the same shoes. He left you on your wedding day, too. <laughs> Unannounced, just like Mrs. Crawford will be seeing anyone today. Every appointment for today is rescheduled for tomorrow. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry. Listen, I really don't want to go home because I'm afraid of what I'm going to do to myself. What? Yes, it's that bad. So if you don't mind, I could do with some company. If if we could go somewhere and sit and maybe just share stories, we could learn one or two things. I just don't want to go home. That's, um, I think that's a brilliant idea. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Rose. Rose? I'm truly pleasure. Let's go. <sighs> so let's start with yours. What happened? Well, it was all your idea for us to come here and talk, so need. Now you have a point. Was there not to tell? Hmm. I've actually contemplated suicide several times. Suicide? I haven't left my house the past nine days. Last week, Saturday, I was supposed to get married to Frank. I still can't believe that it didn't happen. I still can't believe. So, after reading a lot about Mrs. Comfort and her comfort medics and therapy, 
I decided to book a session with her, hoping that that would somehow inspire me to not take my life finally. <sighs> but on getting there, I met the surprise of my life. You. I saw someone who is passing through the very same thing I'm going through. And I thought to myself, maybe I'm not alone after all. You know? <laughs> I felt some kind of hope. I mean, I'm actually smiling. I haven't, I haven't smiled in nine days. Madam. Yeah, absolutely. You're here. Never mind. Okay. You have to stand here. Have a nice day. You too. Bye.
yours was Frank. Oh. Mine was Joe. Joe. <sighs> I promised myself that I wasn't going to take my life because of that gold decker. Exactly. Gold digger. That's what he is. Bloody gold digger. Yeah. I wasn't going to take my life because of him. But. Did I really have. Any life left after what he did to me. Right before my eyes. My hell world crumbled. No. No, it's not true. No, it's a dream. It's a dream, so we'll wake me up. Oh my god. This is not happening to me. Joe, why? Joe, why? How can you do this to me? After everything I did for you. My parents. My friends. My relatives, Joe. Why? You know, if you ask me now, I really don't blame Joe. Yeah, I don't blame him. I blame myself. I blame myself for having an eye for who had some guys. It's okay, let me hug myself. My weak point. My pain giver. This is really nice. Yes. No, we didn't know this place before now. Hey! We have it. Yes. Would you like video? Before we Hey, go here, out. Uh. Yes, so. Me feel up. Sit far in bed. Uh, uh, I beg, I beg, madame, my phone will hear what. It's so, I like it. Yeah. Roast. 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 Babe. Did you just see that? Yes. But that's why you have to be so obvious about it. The guy even took notice of you admiring him. He did? Yes, he did, and that was so cheap of you. Come on now, don't talk like that. You're being rude. Wait, sir, they do you do fine boy. You know if you just see fine boy, make her your eye come out. Ah. Ah. I don't get it. What have I done wrong? Look, as far as I'm concerned, I am on point. I have not done anything wrong. I am only appreciating the handiwork of God. What is so wrong with that? Madam Appreciator, mm. leave me. Mm? Let me enjoy this outing that I came out, eh? <laughs> God the creature. See that guy. Cold. Just. Just look at him. Open fresh. Like God just molded him. Look, there are cute guys out there. Yes, they are. But you need to calm down. So what's your problem, man? Why are you acting like the whole world is on top of your head? What's the problem? 
Look, I don't have a problem with it, okay? But you, but what happens to your safe esteem? Eh? We know there are cute guys out there, but we don't have, we don't have to show it to their faces that we're head over them. Come on, madam, respect yourself. You and your type should leave me alone, all right? I love cute guys. What is so wrong with that? I love them, they make me feel good. <sighs> Look, if that's my kind, I accept it with my full chest. All right? I love them. Jesus, babe. Have you ever had sex <gasps> with a really cute guy, like a guy like this? Boys. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's on another level. How do you guys stand to be with kids? Make love to an ugly guy. I cannot. Look, I'm not saying you should don't like fine boys, okay? But at least respect yourself. What happened to yourself? Respect, eh? Okay, not be all in me, all right? Please, just allow me. Hi. Mm. I can't even see him anymore. No, no, go and look for him. I should have just said hi. You can go and look for him. Oh. Go and look for him. I'll wait for you there. And it was actually the same girl I was talking to you about, right? I came oh. to the shop the other day. Oh, okay, yeah. One. That's the guy, that's the one was the fiance, right? Are you serious? Yeah, exactly. That's the wedding we're going to. Yes, Look at you. Yeah, you're looking at a guy. Yeah, I saw him. The guy had a garden the other day. I saw him. Oh my god. Still cute as ever. Whatever. Why is it so obvious? It's so obvious. You know you're looking at her. Okay. I'll be here with her. Can you just calm down? Mm -hmm. It's so obvious. Oh my god, he's coming in. No, no, of course he's coming. Oh god. I've seen these faces before, but I can't pick where. I can't place the exact place I met you that. Yeah, that's true. We've actually seen each other before at the garden. Oh, yeah, the garden. Wow. My name is Joe. Rose. Rose. And your friend? Oh, this is Merit. Well, hi, Merit. My pleasure. Anyway, Hi. it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I hope you guys don't mind if I join you. Oh no, no, not at all. You may join it. All right then, let me grab a drink. See you guys. Really? Can you, oh my God. Can you, just, can you just calm down? Are you okay? He likes me too. No, I understand. Go. You're going to die one day because of fine boys. You're going crazy. God, I fell so hard. I fell so hard. Flat on my face. I was practically all over him. I couldn't resist him. I could not control my lust, my, my urge, my enthusiasm to be with him. I guess it was too observant. He decided to play along. I thought I had found love. I thought God. Huh. Had given me the best gift ever. I know. I thought I 
finally, I am now a fulfilled woman. But I guess my friend Merit was right after all. Well, all that glitter is not gold. Mm. 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 Tell me about Frank. How, how did you guys meet? Mm. Mm -mm. My sister. Social media. Mm, no. Instagram. Yeah, not that one. Yes. And now I remember when my mother would say, social media will put you in trouble. Though. Social media will put you in trouble. But it, didn't, it just didn't make sense because... I wasn't posting anything fake. I was putting out myself as real as it can be. But I guess mother was right. Right now, hmm, my nightmare is a product of social media. Mr. Frank, or whatever you call yourself, what gives you the right to call me on video call? Am I your girlfriend? I'm sorry, I do not mean to upset you. But I've not been responding to my messages. And so what? That gives you the audacity to call me on WhatsApp video call. Please let this nonsense, let this nonsense never repeat itself. Huh? Why will you invade my privacy like this? WhatsApp video call as, as on to words now. Step at a time. She'll fall for it. You know, for me, it was the persistence, the chase, the way it was all over me. Like, he wouldn't take no for an answer. I honestly thought that I had found 
True love. At last, I thought, I thought he meant every word that he he said to me. I thought I meant the whole world to him. I didn't know that this guy assessed me through my Instagram account and saw a made woman and then decided to reap what he didn't sow. If I had known, I would never have given him that costly opportunity to meet me. Because that night, that was the beginning of my end. So, <laughs> I'm supposed to look like gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, mama. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. Do I need to change my shoes? Mm, the black purse, black or red. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Her Majesty. Her Majesty, okay. The Queen of my heart. The only woman that keeps me awake all night, oh stalking her page. Stop. Uh huh. This is your flesh and blood. Yes, it is. Thank you. My heart's found rest. Oh, stop flashing. Please sit. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh. So, so, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Look, I'm really sorry that I kept you with Nahat. I, 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 I can actually wait till eternity. As long as you are coming, I am willing to wait. Is it not you? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you don't need okay. to apologize, all right? Okay, okay. <laughs> now that you've seen me, what next? You're going to eat me alive? Uh, uh, I don't think you know how happy I am sitting next to my Instagram idol. Ah, idol. Like, you keep me awake every now and then stalking your page. Stop it. Oh, come on. <laughs> you are my joy giver. If I have enough to buy the word for you, I would do that. But for now, I can only give you my heart. Okay. All right? As long as you can let me in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look so beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Oh, your dress is nice. I'm glad you like it, actually. I, know I like it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you care for? Um, something soft, some maybe a long island. Ah. Yeah. Okay, that one is good. <laughs> uh, waiter. Waiter. Please come. Not a waiter. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sister, check it now. Which woman wouldn't have fallen for that kind of gimmick now? I said I was smitten like a fool. I didn't even realize I was given a free hand to achieve his whole aim. You know what I mean? So by the time he struck, ah, he got me good. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, at what point on the wedding day did you realize it was game over? Sister, hurry up. We are late already. 
Frank. Your husband? Yes, Mama. Frank. What happened to Frank? I've not been able to reach him since morning. When last did you talk to him? Last night, we spoke about our plans for this morning, but since then, I haven't been able to reach him on the phone. Okay, you know what? Calm down. Maybe he's in the church. Let's go and meet him there. Mama, he's not there. He's not there. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Or... I may not be able to, to place a finger to it, but I'm sure that something is wrong. Hey, someone that has a wedding today, and his number is not going to till this moment. Uh-uh, Mama, it won't make any sense. Hey, is he thinking? Uh-uh. Ha, it is going on. My enemy is off. My enemy is off. My enemy is off. I have not done anything to anybody. I have not done anything to anyone. Hello? Hey. Hmm. And some how far? Yeah. Hey. 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 Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Frank, Frank, where are you now? Frank, where are you now? Don't do this to me on my wedding day now. Where are you? Go to Lana. Mama, stop this drama. What happened? Tell us. What happened? Mama, see. Frank and I planned that this, this morning he would move into the hotel and then after the wedding we would go over there and spend our one week honeymoon. So as his phone was off this morning, I quickly sent my security guard to go and check him and to call him because people are waiting. And even if he doesn't see him there, he should go to our newly acquired home and go and see if he's there. <laughs> so as he got there, what happened? <laughs> he said the hotel said he didn't check in this morning. And then when hey. he ran to our home, he met the gate. Bad luck from outside. Hey! For meaning that he's no longer interested in the Mama, marriage. don't say that, don't and say that. he ran away. Why are you up with that? Uh-huh. He ran away. Hey! Hello! Is that it? Is that it? Is that, is that it? <laughs> if if, if the place is locked, that's, it means that he ran away now. You're <laughs> I don't want you to cry. Oh my God, don't cry. Oh. No, no, no. Don't cry for Frank. No, no. If he's not, if he's not there and the place, don't say that. Don't say that. You don't need to call him. You don't need to call him again. He doesn't deserve this tears. Call him. Maybe some fuck. Wait. He loped with my money. All of it. I bought the house with my money. I furnished it lavishly with my money. But foolish me, I bought the house in his name and every single furniture in it. So three days later, when I went there, the new occupant showed me the documents stating that Frank had sold the property. And <laughs> everything in it, yes. This is true. Yes, sold everything in it and then disappeared with the money. I lost everything. Everything. <sighs> they came for the money. Oh yeah, they came for the money. <sighs> I didn't see it coming. Anyways. You were lucky. Hmm. Really? Yeah, at least you were not in the church already when you found out. In the church? I, on the other hand. I was already in the church. No way. I don't know, what's keeping Joe now? People are getting tired. <sighs> oh, oh. Let me try his number again. Okay. <sighs> okay. Is it ringing? He's not ringing. 
has number still switched off. <sighs> this is not good. <sighs> Someone I spoke to three hours ago, a whole three hours ago, he said he was already on his way to the church with his best man. <sighs> what prank is Joe playing? Prank? <sighs> on my best day. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say again. I don't. <laughs> Joe. Joe, you have to come here right now. You have to be here right now. He has to find his way down here right now. By all means, I do not care if he has to develop wings or not. He has to be here now. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's in danger. Never can tell. Danger? We've not heard of any accident or, or, or kidnapping today. God, it's four. I'm, it's four hours already. His house is just 30 minutes drive away from here. It's not far. Why is he doing this? Just calm down, okay? I'm sure he'll be here soon. Okay. Please just calm down, okay? okay? Calm down. It's your day. You're not supposed to be like this. Okay. okay. What kind of embarrassment is this, Rose? <laughs> eh? Papa, please. Please calm down. He's coming. Calm down? He is coming. He is coming. The priest had just left the altar. And <sighs> people are walking home one after the other. And you are here telling me to calm down that he's coming. How do you expect me to calm down when he's not here? Papa, please. Please, just a little more patience, okay? I... He'll be here, I promise. He will, because I, I know that... Hey, that, that, that's his friend, Papa. That's his friend. Okay. <sighs> Jonathan, what happened? What's going on? <sighs> and besides, you're supposed to be the best man of this wedding. Why are you still dressed in your T-shirt and, and jeans? <laughs> Rose, there's a development. I, I need to see you. Young man, whatever you want to say, say it right here. She's my daughter. Papa. Whatever I want to say, I want to tell her in confidence. No, Papa, just a guys, minute. Don't, don't worry, Papa. Please, let me just see him, okay? Please follow me. Look, look, my breath is cotton. Where is Joe? Rose. There's something I'm going to tell you. But you have to promise me that you're not going to create a scene here. Please. Jonathan. Start talking. I'm losing it. Joe never loved you. Joe never loved you. Who's that? Joe. Oh, Jonathan. You are not dressed yet. Take a look at the time. Yes, I'm not dressed because there's not going to be a wedding. What? What, what are you talking about? Jonathan, you heard me crystal clear. See, I don't know what has come over you now, but just know that people are waiting for you at the church. Your bride. The priest, your friends and your family, everybody's at the church waiting for you. So, I don't know what you're talking about now. Can you calm down and sit? Let's talk. Should I pour you a drink? 
I don't have time for this now, please. All right. <clears throat> I never loved her. Yes, she was head over heels for me, and I noticed it. I wanted to figure out if she had money and she was rich, and boom, she was rich. But that girl is as greedy as they come. And before I knew it, she was proposing a marriage. And so, yeah, I played along just to see what would come out of it. <sighs> but I will be telling myself the greatest lie if I go to that altar and get married to her. And I do not intend to do it. Okay? So, it simply means there's no wedding happening. I hope she enjoyed it while it lasted. God, this, this is unbelievable. I mean, I, I can't believe this. You can't believe what? Chew. Oh, she's calling me. Don't waste your battery. There's not going to be a wedding. Joe, what? Are you this mean? Why are you crying more than the bereaved? God. <laughs> See, I have been trying to talk senses into him, but he can't listen to me. I don't know what to do again. What did you say? See, Rose, you are a strong lady. I, I expect you to handle this this information. Don't don't allow it to get the better part of you, please, please. No. No. You have to be. No! here, all relaxed, chilling, drinking. When you bride, you invited guests are all at the church waiting for you. It's your wedding day, Joe! Enough. So that is enough reason for you to budge into my house like that, screaming like a mad woman. <laughs> oh, you're not taught manners. But when you come through a door, you knock first, and when the person answers, you come inside. Anyway, scratch that. You see, Rose, this marriage was never real. <laughs> we, we were never supposed to get to this point in the first place. <laughs> you, you were just too desperate. It was never meant to happen. What? What are you talking about, Joe? Why are you doing this to me? Why? All right. <clears throat> Let me tell you the truth so you face the reality. I don't love you. I never did. All of this was just so I could get some money for you. But you? You wanted a marriage so bad. So, so bad. And so I began to ask myself, what sort of lady meets a guy and in three months is already planning to get married? Who freaking does that? You see, Rose, there comes a time in a man's life 
for he has to tell himself the truth. And this is the truth. I never loved you. This is over. The dice have rolled, and the game is over. So stop with the hypocritical bullshit and move on. Standing there, what? Listening to those piercing words from the man that I love so much. No way. I couldn't believe my ears. It was like, it was like a nightmare. In broad daylight. That's not fair. Oh, God. That is on another level. What? You just woke up on the morning of your wedding and I just broke up with you like that? Because you never loved me. Oh, you never really loved me. Guy's a monster. He was just playing some, some sort of game. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry for your loss, but I swear I feel some sort of relief because this right here is a worst case scenario. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's really funny because that's the exact same way I feel right now. <laughs> I mean, this guy made away with your money. Touche. Did you ever try to have him arrested for selling your property behind your back? <laughs> Sister, the lawyer said I had no case. And true, Frank lured me into buying everything in his name. So in the eyes of the law, Frank was selling his properties and not mine. So everything was gone into thin air. It's horrible. Mm. But you know, I believe we can still make something good out of everything we went through. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we've learned our lessons. Yeah, how do we? I don't think we need any healing therapy right now. We are the healing we need. Yeah, I guess you're right, because honestly, talking to you, I feel lighter, way lighter. Mm -hmm. Like a huge burden has been lifted up my shoulders. Because we shared. Because we shared. <sighs> well. <sighs> now. Let us make something out of our bad experiences. Something. Are you in? Um, in. <sighs> I feel like this appeared from this My heart is broken. I feel like this appeared from this world. She's still in his early days. She's believing and hoping for a major contract with a five or seven star hotel that will make him billions of naira. He has not really done much for himself. His quest to be rich by all means is on the high side and that leads to his desperation. Anything that can turn him into a millionaire 
other knives is a welcome idea. He knows that he's too handsome and he expects every lady to sing his praise. Or at least stand with him. I am just noticing today, I have actually been out of town all this while. The first nice, well, I always see the person you just mentioned now, Joe. Joe. Uh, always, yeah, Joe is the man. He's, all, he's the one that is always here. That's what the other is about. Hi. Hi. Um, Hello. So I'm looking for Joe, the interior decorator. Oh, Joe Best. Yes. Okay. Um, just take this step up. When you get up, up. yes, the third office by the right row. When I go upstairs, it'll be right to the left, and then third office by the right. Yes. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> when will your man stop this lifestyle? <sighs> what do you mean? What kind of lifestyle are you talking about? See, bro. This is an office. Hmm? Anybody is free to visit. I am happy with the fact that you said anybody, not any lady. Yeah, um, you should know uh, that some offices, even some jobs, are feminine inclined. So, you, you should stop twisting things, guy. You are actually the one twisting things here, trying to defend your Casanova friend. Bro, get this in your head. You are twisting things. Stop. Look. This man, I know he's, he's making money and all, but he needs to come on. Oh, yeah. Um, I just saw the client data. All right. All right. No problem. I'll, I will get to speed on it. All right. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Mr. Joe? Yes. Oh, sorry. Please sit. Thank you. Hmm. You're welcome to Joe Best Interiors. Thank you. How may we be of service? Well, you can be of service in lots of ways, but uh, I couldn't help but notice that your office, I mean, looks really good for a fresher, and you as a CEO, you complement it in a lot of ways. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, of course. My name is Julio Kafo from the Okafo Dynasty. I'm sure you've heard about us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. So as I was saying, we're looking to invest our late father's wealth in hospitality, real estate and the likes. And we're currently building a massive hotel with 22 rooms, 50 suites, a VIP lounge, bush bar, swimming pool. You get a picture and it's nearing completion. Wow. Mm. That sounds good. Sounds really good. And uh, I came into the country last year and I've been saddled with the responsibility of looking for an interior decorator my other brother. So uh, we're in talks and your name kind of came up. Hmm. Well, this is the kind of business that's, that really gets me invested. I'm glad to hear. Yeah. Um, before we proceed, what should I offer you? Oh, believe you me, you would want to buy me a drink. A drink? Yes. A drink. What's your brand? Mr. Joe, <laughs> yes. don't you think we should take this business discussion to somewhere a bit more, hmm? how do you say, sensual? Sensual? Mm -hmm. Well, I like sensual. Good. So, meet you at the lobby. All right, uh, let me just pack up a few things. Okay. 
careful. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm so caring. I am. Hmm. Oh, okay. Whose car are we going in? Yours or mine? You came with a car? Yeah. Where is it? Over there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, you choose. Well, since mm -hmm. you're taking me out, I think you should drive. All right. This way then. Okay. Jonathan. Joe. Hey. The car door. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forget these things. That's okay, really. You sure? Yeah, of course. All right. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see the business is taking them out of the business premises. God, always mind your business. This is not your business, and you know it. Bro, talk to your man. He's not the only fine boy in this town. He should cut down on the way he carries girls up and down. Like, this life won't get back to. But you can still talk to him too. Is he not your friend? He's not my friend, and you know it. Okay, fine. He's not your friend, but he's your neighbor at the office. Yes, I'm that neighbor that knows his boundaries. Look at who is talking about boundaries. Bro, if you know your boundaries, you should not be putting your mouth in what is not your business. That is how to know boundaries. You're not a good friend. Look at who is talking about boundaries. You're not a good friend. This is how you talk every time. Come on, boy. You're not a good friend. Please start minding your business yeah. from today. So, uh, what do you want to drink? Um, something really... How about a sparkling wine? All right, then. Um, hello. Sparkling wine in two glasses. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Frank relocated for tacos. I know because people saw him. I'm sure he already made plans even before our wedding day. He bought a smaller house in PH, bought a small car. That's all I heard. Maybe he opened a small business for himself with the remaining proceeds of the mansion. My mansion. But I'm sure with his new IG handle, you can get other information for yourself. PH City, I'm here. Frank. Rose is here. Let the game begin. So. I'm aware you're a fresher and that you've not handled um, projects like this that run to the magnitude of hundreds of millions. Talk less of billions, but I do believe that you have the capacity to handle this. Oh, you see, I am more than capable of handling this project. Good. You know, that's the problem with this country. Hmm. Young people are not given the opportunity to showcase their talents. And that is why in our world today, we are suffering from lack of invention. Hmm. You know, every office you go, they will always ask you for long years of experience. <laughs> but whereas in the Western world, people with fresh ideas and potentials are given these platforms to show what they can do. Hmm. And that is why every single day, there's new inventions coming from that end. Well spoken. Well spoken. That is exactly why I want to place this project in your hands because of this kind of intelligence. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we finish our drinks and then I'll take you to the site where you can have a good look at the property and then if everything goes well, I'll introduce you to my brother who will personally award you the contract. So what do you say? I say let's do that. <laughs> okay. So can we give a cheers? Oh, cheers. To future business partner. Oh, future business partner. Thanks. Wow, 
This place is massive. <laughs> 22 yes. rooms, 50 suites, a VIP bar, swimming pool. Of course, it has to be massive. So when are we meeting your brother? <sighs> so I'm thinking, I'm going to visit you later on this week. Just get the proposal ready and then I'll pay you a visit. All I need you to do is just get your proposal ready. Okay? All right. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Let me get the door for you. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, God. This one is really hot, right? I know. Fuck. You're welcome. I guess I'll see you around. Drive safely, okay? All right. Bye. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do. Yeah. I know that smile on your face, bro. <laughs> this must be a good cash. Mm. Look, when God wants to bless you, he does not need permission from anyone. Hmm? You're right. <laughs> Who is she? I don't even know her from Adam. She came to my office today and she brought in a mega business deal. I mean my dream deal. For real? Yes. I was just standing here with this guy when she drove in. Really? I was actually the one that showed her to your office. Wow. Yeah. Well, if this deal works out, mm -hmm. I'm made for life. Bro, you don't need to worry. Mm -hmm. This is a don't deal. It's a don't deal. Sure. Mm -hmm. All you need to be is be hopeful and prayerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to worry about it. Too. I know.
She's a victim, victim, victim. She not real at all. Mm. She was revenge. You broke her heart, too. She gonna break your heart, too. She was revenge. She's a victim, victim, victim. She not real at all. Rose, you got this guy. I got you, bastard. I got you. Your heart is broken. Yes, we know. Your heart is bitter. Oh, yes, we know. Okula bigita. Koya bo. Let me not cry. Time. Rose, baby. What's up, babe? How's the desk going? Stage three is already successful, as in successful. You don't say. Wow. I just hit my stage two, right? The guy asked for my number and he's coming to see me tomorrow in my hotel room. Wow. As in, wow, you better not miss your chances. Eh? Miss my chances. Look, I did not travel all the way to this city to miss any chances, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. Now go and conquer. <laughs> Look, as far as I'm concerned, right, I'm already in stage three. Stage three. Look, very soon I will gist you everything about the success story of stage three. Sudest. Gang, gang. I can't wait. Like, I am so, so happy for us. Mm, I know. But look, let's keep that to the end of the final stage. All right? No, Wahala. Talk to you later. Good night. All right, Jolly. Good night. <laughs> Throws the bad bitch. She must revenge. She's a victim. 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 She must Yeah, hello. You had my hotel already? Oh, wow, so fast. <laughs> yeah, room 206. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Yes. Yes, Mr. Frank. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And blood, the almighty Rosa Kinley, <laughs> my Instagram crush. I'm just getting to know that. <laughs> okay, you know, today you are. 
Thank Love you. you. <laughs> Thank you for coming through. It's my pleasure. <laughs> um, make yourself comfortable, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, over here, sit ah. down, please. Okay. Um, you can order something, okay? Just call the reception, let them just give you a drink of your choice, all right? Uh, okay. Let me just sort out some things in the bathroom. Uh, it's okay, I'm good. I won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa Kili. <laughs> So beautiful. Uh, thank you. So <laughs> Did you order something? Ah, uh, babe, I'll prefer we go outside. What? Somewhere cozy. Let's have lunch. <laughs> that sounds nice. I know. <laughs> but you know what? I would like to take you to an exclusive bar and restaurant. The swimming pool. The ice cream, of course. I know you post all of that in your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day, we we'll go to the cinema and see a movie. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. I know you like I it. I am already enjoying this city. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I did not know you were a baller. Come on, I'm always a baller. Come on. <laughs> Come okay, on. let me go and change to something I really know, nice. Yeah. And then we can get going. Rose. Yeah. <laughs> My Instagram girl. Mm. Nice. I know. Mm -hmm. the places I come once in a while. Lunch, dinner, anytime. Mm. <laughs> with your girlfriend, I suppose. Tell me about her. Does she live in this town with you? <laughs> I'm talking about girlfriend. Well, you may not believe, but I do not have a girlfriend for now. Why? Because I just came out from a bad relationship. I'm trying to heal. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that, but tell me about it. Why didn't it work? Rosa, we don't want us to talk about mine, rather. Let's talk about your relationship. How about it? Well, <clears throat> I'm very much single 
and searching. Okay, <laughs> you're kidding right now. I mean, <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> How can a beautiful, classy woman like you from a rich home be single and searching? Then you want me to believe that? Nah. <laughs> Don't say that again. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I I was in a relationship, mm. but um, my last boyfriend he wanted to. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it too. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, take it easy on yourself. Yeah. Thank you. I just um. I just pray that God gives me a responsible man. My father would be the happiest man on earth if that happens. Amen. <laughs> May God grant your heart desires. Amen. <laughs> so tell me, what do you intend doing with those house property documents? Oh, um... My dad, um, he has just the two of us, two females. Mm. Yeah. My younger sister and I. And as the elder, he intends to hand over all his businesses and property to me and my husband when I get married. Oh. <laughs> Since I'm the only one who lives here in the country, my sister and her husband live in the UK. So I'll be keeping the property documents maybe until my next trip to the UK. Okay. <clears throat> Let me understand. You mean the properties will be given to you and your husband when you get married, right? Everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I get it all. Ah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> you see. Yeah. Everything. So you can call me the heiress. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, everything. Mm. You okay? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Hope you like it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy.
disappear from this earth. My heart is broken. I feel like disappearing from this world. Cause this hits me hard on my wedding day. My ears stop crying. Oh, my baby. Oh my god, I must confess I had the best time of my life. Me too. <laughs> You're awesome. Uh, are we still going to the cinemas tonight? <sighs> no, I think I've had enough already. Uh -huh. um, I need you to take me back to my hotel. <sighs> Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm at your service, Your Majesty. Great, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. So, Julie, how well do you know this young man? And how sure are you about his integrity and capability? Well, he came highly recommended, and uh, I checked out his records and had to agree that he is capable. Okay. Young man, how long have you been in this interior business? Uh, I'm six that's... years, actually. He's um, been in this business for six years, and that six years has done so well for himself. Yes. yes. Six years. Okay, in that case, uh, we need to see his proposals first. Yes, yes, um, we will get the proposal in three days. Yes, three days. Three days, absolutely. Yes, All right. That would be good. Thank you, brother. I'll take my leave now. All right. All right. Have a nice day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I just want you to get the proposal ready and well done. That's all I require from you. I promise it will be ready even tomorrow. Okay? I cannot miss this life-changing opportunity you've given me. Aww. That's okay. So, um, you said three days? Yes. Let's make it three days. All right. No excuses. Okay. Okay. I promise I wouldn't let you down. Okay, good. Let's go. All right. Let's go. sent an angel in human form when he sent me that girl. I'm okay. telling you. So what happened? <laughs> Every question that I was asked that was going to seem to be a problem if I give the wrong answer. Yes. She just kept answering on my behalf. So I literally just stood there and I was just saying, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? I am telling you. So this brother. means the contract is yours. <laughs> Well, guess what? Brother said I should submit my proposal in the next three days. Wow! Mm -hmm. You are a very lucky child. You've gotten this contract just like this. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I feel unworthy of this. This is, this is God's blessings. This is, this is God's favor. I mean, after all the atrocities I've committed, defrauding unsuspecting beautiful women with the fine boy looks and all that. Well, you know, he still blessed me and, and just decided to change my life with this opportunity. See, you need to know that God's way is not the same with us. I mean, the way we behave too. See, there are so many men in this town that are nowhere close to righteousness. But they are controlling millions every day. So your own case is not different. 
I mean, it's your turn. <sighs> yeah. So, enjoy. <laughs> you know what, Jonathan? Friends come and go. Sure. You're a good friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do it, man. <laughs> it's true, man. They live forever. Like, seriously, are you kidding me right now? What's wrong with you? What is this? Seriously? So if I hadn't looked at your proposal, this is what you would have presented to my brother? Um. <clears throat> Okay, please just tell me what is wrong so I can make amendments and correct it. Everything! Like, for example, how are you going to use 300 million naira to furnish a hotel of that magnitude? Seriously, it smirks of incompetence. I just didn't want to be on the high side. But I promise you I wasn't going to compromise quality. My company is known for quality. Then it should reflect in your proposal. Listen. If my brother had seen this proposal, you would have lost it already. Okay, just show me what I can correct and then I'll do. I made some a few points, black points. Just just look at them and then do the appropriate. What do you need for? All right. <clears throat> um, it, it wouldn't take too long. Let me just fix it. You don't here. want to keep him waiting. I won't. Believe you me. I promise. All right. <clears throat> Gosh. Hey, baby. Mm, I've missed you. Nancy, what are you doing? What is... I'm, I'm sorry? Seriously? Seriously? What, what the hell did you just do? Julie! You better pray I don't lose this contract. Excuse me. Julie! What exactly are you sorry for? For walking into my office without even knocking? Or for walking past the client without even saying hi? Or for coming all the way down here to kiss me in front of a client? Tell me. Everything will be assured. You better pray I don't lose this contract. Because if I lose it, I will end this thing we call a relationship. And not only will I do that, I will frustrate your miserable life. You see what you have done? She's not even taking my call. No, I should take the call. I see. Get out of my office. Get out of my office. Get out. Hey, you're hot. I said, get out of my office. <laughs> to give me any chance at all to stay away from him. No space at all. He, <laughs> I swear to you, look, not a second away from him. I swear. You know what, babe? At this point, I'm starting to think maybe he's actually falling in love for real. Uh -huh. Why not? Let him fall in love with you. So that by the time we get to stage 10, you will really feel the pain. Ha. My sister, the way we're going there, eh? I will jump to stage eight before I leave the city. <laughs> really? <clears throat> no jokes, babe. I just said this guy is all over me. You need to see the way he just stays glued to me every second. <laughs> Look, do you know that I had to force him to leave here this night? Yes, yeah, so I can have time to talk to you. Oh my God, wow, wow, wow. You know, I'm so glad that we stuck to our plans and just 
going on point. Like, I'm so glad that we we took the bold step. You know what I mean? Because affliction shall never rise a second time. <laughs> so tell me, what's up with Joe? We're supposed to go and see my supposed elder brother with his proposal. But while I was looking at his proposal in his office, that's how this babe just waltz in and starts to kiss him in my very presence. Like, <laughs> of course, I have to feign anger and I rose up and I walked away. The guy hasn't stopped calling me since morning. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Joe will never change. <laughs> but you know, I think I like the 10 out of things because it's to our advantage. How do you mean? I mean, just jump to stage eight. Yes, this guy needs the contract so bad, okay? And right now, he will not stop calling. So when you decide to pick up his call, right, just peg it to stage eight. I swear he will fall for it. Yes, of course. Why did I think in this direction? Of course. Babe, you are a genius. Mm, you can say that again, baby. <laughs> this is Rose. Definitely stage eight. Well, see you in stage eight. Stage eight, here we come. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Someone's in trouble. Joe. You have to calm down. You have to calm down, okay? I'm calm. I'm calm. Good. I'm just troubled, okay? I, I don't want to miss that contract. You understand? I don't want to miss it. Well, it's very obvious that this woman loves you. And I believe one of the reasons why she brought this contract to you is because she wants to woo you to herself. I mean, how can you explain that? That's the reason why she cannot stand to see you with another woman. <laughs> Jonathan. The love of a woman is like, it's like an ocean's wave. Today is up, tomorrow is down. Up and down it goes. But the question is, how do I remedy this situation? How? Wait, I, I think I have an idea. I, ha I have an idea. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I know what to do. Yes. Yes. I will end whatever relationship I have going on with Nancy and then make a switch to her. <laughs> I would even get married to her if that's what it takes. Next week, Saturday, if possible. Well, um, it is clear what she wants. So I think you have to tell her what she wants to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Send her the text message. Yeah, I'll do that later. As clear as crystal chest stuff. I know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sure you send out that text message. Yeah, I will. I will. Oof, this alcohol hits hard. Mm. My dear Julie, I am very unhappy with myself. With the unfortunate turn out of things for making you very angry when I was planning for a way to express my joy and also extend the joy to you for coming into my life. The truth is, you have every right to be angry, but please just hear me out. I want to tell you exactly how I feel about you and how I see you. I'm begging you, please hear me out. Joe, with love. Stage eight is beckoning on me. 
He wants to know how he feels. <sighs> Stage eight is beckoning on me. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't want you to go back. I'm missing you already. You can't be serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Look, if I would have finished what I came to the city to do and I've stayed extra two weeks because of you and now you don't want me to go? No. <laughs> that isn't enough, though. Do you even know why I even came to you in the first place? Julie. Nancy and I were at the verge of a breakup. You see that stunt she pulled in my office? She did it just to prove a point and see if we could get back together. Trust me. You're only seeing all of this because you want the contract. As soon as you get the contract, you're going to disappear, right? Listen to me, Julie. The way you came to me, the way you fought for me, the way you protected my interests in front of your brother. That made me change the way that I think about you. I, I see you as God sent. And since you've been in my life, my life has been beautiful. And that is how I am going to see you for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. But we all know that handsome boys are nothing but gigolos, con men, heartbreakers, and the likes. So I used to be. But not anymore. You see, Julie, ever since you came into my life, everything has changed for good. Good things are happening and more good things are about to happen. And I think about it like, what would it be like if you were mine, fully mine, forever? Listen, my heart is saying one thing, my head is saying another. I mean, you sound convincing, yes, and I really want to believe you, but I feel like I need something more, like an assurance of some sort, you know? What kind of assurance? I don't know, you know, something permanent, something assuring, like taking me to the altar, you know, along that kind of line, you know, just... To the whole time. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Like in the middle of this discussion, you want to leave? Pardon me. I'm just going to the store nearby. is so sudden, but there's no rule to a heart that yearns for love. In you, I found fulfillment. <laughs> Darling, in you, I found a soulmate. <laughs> what are you doing? In you, I found settlement. In you, I found happiness. You are just the perfect description of the kind of woman I want for myself. <laughs> if I have what it takes, I will buy the world for you. But since I can, I can only give you my heart, my love, my affection, as long as you want me to remain in your life, I would make you the happiest woman on earth. Please, 
don't say no. Be the mother of my kids, my unborn kids. No. The, you must be joking. And I'm not joking. I'm serious. Please, my heart yearns for you so much. I love you. You for real? Yes. Yes. <sighs> yes. 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 Yes, I, I'll marry you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. my God. Oh my goodness! I love you. <laughs> what? Hey. Hey, where did you go? Ah, uh, hope I didn't waste so much time. Uh, where did you go to? What is this? Is that what I think that it is? No. You see, Julie. You see, Julie, I, I've been a playboy. And I've broken so many hearts. But you, you were different. Yes, with you I see destiny. I, I look at you and I see a beautiful life with us, but he's marrying me. Oh my God, of course. Of course I'm marrying you. It's exactly what I want. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. Joe, just, just, <laughs> come here. <laughs> you hit me high. <laughs> Guess what? Tell me. Guess, old man. You know I'm no good at guessing. Oh my god. You know what? So, I finally submitted the proposal. And she promised that as soon as the painting and the plumping works are done, they'll mobilize me. Man, I secured the contract. Wow. Well, I thank God we were able to read the handwriting on the walls. Mm hmm I mean, I couldn't miss that life-changing opportunity for anything in the world. Who does that? <laughs> I even had to propose to her. You did what? Yes. <laughs> I did, and she accepted to be my wife. Jew. Yeah, so pretty soon, I'm going to be a mister with a ring on my finger. Woo. Hey, 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 wait. What? I hope it's not going to be like Rose, that you jumped in and jumped out. Oh, God. I hope. You know what, Jonathan? I was about to offer you a bottle of brandy, but now you're going to buy me a bottle of brandy. Deal? Let's just hope and pray. Let's sign this contract. And you're done for good. You're a freaking killjoy. <laughs> you are. Okay. You understand? So just calm down. We want to drink to store, but let us get this contract signed and sealed. How about that? You know what, Jonathan? You're such a killjoy. Actually, I was going to offer you a bottle of brandy, but now you have to buy me a bottle. And besides, if I jump out of this, I will jump right back in. You know why? Tell me. Because I cannot get this kind of soft landing that I get with Julia anywhere else. Trust me. Hmm. Do you understand me? I mean, you're making me to believe you, Joe. Yes, you have to believe me. Let's see how he plays then. I'm going to get married to her for real. Never can tell. I might even be in love. <laughs> Lover boy. I have to believe you, bro. Yeah. You know. Anyway, like I said, you're a good friend. You too, Joe DeMar. Billionaire. <laughs> Billionaire Joe. BB. <laughs> no, babe. I want the wedding in this town. I want it here. Why are you running away from this town? Huh? 
Is, is there something you're not telling me? No, 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 nothing very serious. Just that since I left that area, you know, it's been a long time, so I left for good. So coming back for this wedding, it's rather looks so absurd to me. No, I disagree with that. There's nothing absurd about it. Besides, you have the opportunity of having your old friends and colleagues attend your wedding. <sighs> Who knows you in PH? Uh, darling, you right to bots. No bots. My father has called his priest friend that lives in this town, okay? And he will officiate our wedding. And soon, he will send our wedding date. So get ready. You know, as we're having the honeymoon in the UK, he's very excited about the whole thing. He cannot wait to meet his son-in-law. I can't wait to see him too. Good. <laughs> All right. Talk later. Bye. Yeah. Let's talk about our wedding. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about our wedding. So what do you want to talk about? Go, would you, would you go away? Come, stop. Why? Because we just had one now and that was the fourth round of the day. Well, guess what? What? I want to have one more round. And again, and again, and again. You'll be serious now. All right, fine. All right, let's talk about the wedding. Yes, let's talk about the wedding. Wait, just stay, stay. <laughs> so about the wedding and um, the, the wedding. <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, uh. Baby, I can't stop vibing with this heartbreak. Please, I'm sorry. Can't survive this heartbreak. You just don't get it, do you? Get what? My wedding is in three days. Myself and Juliet are getting married. So not only is it over between us, it is impossible for us to make up. Ju Who's Juliet? Who's Juliet? The lady you met in my office the other day. You must be joking, right? How would I joke with so much? Do I look like a comedian to you? Joe, you are heartless. You are a beast. Mm. You are the devil himself. Mm. How can you break up with me because of her? Forgetting our love, what we share, everything. Oh, you know. Listen, every relationship does not end with marriage. Must it? You are a devil, Joe. I cursed the day I met you. I cursed you this day. You will suffer for the rest of your life. Oh, please shut up. The last girl I dated cost me more than this. I broke up with her the same day of our marriage. And look at me. I'm still doing better. And I bet you after now, in three months or in four months, I'll be doing better than this. You understand? You're the devil himself. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Spare me the courses next time, because they don't work. Now go into that room, pack your things, and leave my house. <laughs> I can keep up with you. Come on, get the food out of my house one time. Why would her number be switched off? This is really worrisome. <sighs> but this reminds me of Rose. This is exactly the way she was waiting for you on the day of her wedding. What are you trying to insinuate? I'm worried about my bride and you're telling me about Rose? What has Rose got to do with this? <sighs> but this is not really making sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense at all. Do you know the other guy that uh, did wedding with you is still expecting his own bride? And her phone is switched off too. What a crazy coincidence. What is going on? It's not making sense. Come on. 
Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. <sighs> Bro, you got to calm down, okay? She will be on her way now. Bro, don't tell me to calm down. This is not the best time for you to tell me to calm down. Look at the church. The priest is worried. We are two hours late. Two hours late. I look at the priest. The priest is worried. And they might just end up wedding those couple. We Without have, me. You have to calm down. We don't know what's holding her. She will be here soon. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Hi. Um, I heard your bride hasn't showed up. So, you no, know, I, I do not know what is going on. I don't understand. I mean, I was on the phone with her this morning. Just this morning. And right now, her phone is switched off. Dead switched off. What is going on today? <sighs> Bro, um, you can go inside and wait with your bride, okay? My bride hasn't showed up too. I'm, I'm calling her and her number is switched off. No way. You're kidding. Why would I kid with such a thing? I'm not. <sighs> this is not a coincidence. Something is wrong. Oh, that's my brother-in-law. Mr. Jude. Um, where's your sister? Why are you dressed like this? Um, I've actually come to drop her message. Her message? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, whose message? Frank. You know Frank? Hi, Frankie. <laughs> so, you remember my friend? Rose? Hey. <laughs> so, by the time you see this video, huh, you will be with Joe, right? That's right. Is Joe there? I hope he's there. <laughs> Hi, Joe. You know her? My ex. That's my ex, too. This is Rose now. Yes. <clears throat> Listen, Frank. I'm sorry. Why am I even saying I'm sorry? I don't know. Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Julie here is actually my friend. All right. And after what both of you guys did to us, we decided yeah. to pay you back in your own coin. Karma is a bitch. You see, these days, we no longer wait for karma. No. We play karma. We are the karma. karma. <laughs> <laughs> Look. As we speak, we're about to catch a flight to Europe. We'll start our new lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Okay. This is lesson learned forever, I hope. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. She is a bitch. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Felicia. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, actually, she is not my sister. It was a setup. And I've done my job. What? Good day, guys. What? Bro, what is going on? Somebody wake me up from the sleep. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Cause this hits me hard on my wedding day. My ears are crying on my wedding day. Suicide is not the solution. On my wedding day, my ears stop crying. On my wedding day, put yourself together. Don't kill yourself. Put yourself together. It's not the end of the world. We are in this together. We are in this together. Promise me everything. He made me fall for him. Now he 
Oh, my God. 